My name is John Daly. I'm a conservation biologist at Taronga and I lead the cryopreservation work that we do as part of Taronga's reef recovery program. So the main thing we're working on at the moment is upscaling our cryopreservation process. So finding ways to streamline the cryopreservation and working with our collaborators in the reef restoration and adaptation program to integrate cryopreservation into some of the aquaculture and restoration work that they're doing. Taronga's Reef Recovery Program is using cryopreservation and biobanking to secure the biodiversity of the Great Barrier Reef. The Great Barrier Reef has suffered from four mass bleaching events over the past six years and that's resulted in the loss of large numbers of coral across the reef. And so when that happens we can lose the genetic diversity of the reef and that can impact on the coral's ability to adjust to increasing water temperatures due to climate change. Coral are really being impacted by increased ocean warming events which are caused by climate change due to increasing carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. And so this is causing mass bleaching events out on the coral reefs and the um, incidence of these mass bleaching events is actually increasing. Coral reefs are one of the most important ecosystems on the planet. They actually support around a quarter of all marine species. But they also support millions of people around the world and in doing so they contribute billions of dollars to the annual economy. Our busiest time of the year is during annual coral spawning which is in late spring and early summer. And so at that time of year we travel up to the Australian Institute of Marine Science in Townsville and our collaborators at Ames go out and they collect corals from the reef and they bring them in to the sea simulator which is a, a really good aquarium system. So when the corals spawn we're able to collect the gamete bundles, then we isolate the sperm and we cryopreserve it using liquid nitrogen. And so at the end of the spawn we bring those samples back down here to Sydney and we store them in the cryodiversity bank. We can use them to produce more coral uh, this year or next year or even in 10 years time. Taronga's cryodiversity bank has thousands of samples from over 30 species of coral from the Great Barrier Reef. And this is actually the largest collection of cryopreserved samples from coral in the world. Um, and so those samples are stored in special tanks called dewars that contain liquid nitrogen at minus 196 degrees Celsius. And so at that temperature, those samples are stable long term. Um, so we can use them next year or in 10 years or even in 100 years to make new coral to support reef restoration efforts out on the reef. Uh, so Taronga's Reef Recovery Program began in 2011 as a collaboration with the Smithsonian Institution in the United States. And so the goal of that program was to secure as much genetic diversity as possible from the Great Barrier Reef. So the main thing that we're working on at the moment is upscaling the cryopreservation processes that we use to make them more streamlined, but also to help integrate them with our collaborators at Ames and to work with our collaborators at Ames to find ways to utilise cryopreservation to support aquaculture and large-scale production of coral recruits for reef restoration. We can't do this work without the support of our partners and so we're really pleased to have City Australia on board to support our work and help us secure a future for the Great Barrier Reef.